G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. Yes. What a jump, Kapak. Good jump. I know. I've been practicing. <laughs> Are you ready for your maiden proper flight with this thing today? Maybe? Uh, oh, we tested it to see if it would lift off last time, right? Yeah, so the atmospherics are powerful enough. Now we need to test whether you can get to space. Mm, still got some holes in it. It does. Do we want to fix them up before we go to space or after we get there? Um, I mean, I guess they're not really mission critical. True. So what's your decision? Let's go. Time to go to space. Well, I'm going to set something up so that you can collect a bunch of fuel first. Well, speaking of, how many O2H2 gens do you have on this thing? I don't think you have that many. Uh, not done. Should probably build a couple. O2. Oh. Uh, I've got one oxygen farm. <laughs> Is that all? Uh, it seems to be it. Oh. I don't see anything else. Wasn't there? There was one here, but you seem to have demolished it. Yeah, sounds right. I'm building a couple of new ones and I'll pipe everything up and make sure you've got uh, some decent fuel. Because what I was thinking of, I would do while you keep doing whatever it is you're doing um, was build a piston and rotor based mining rig onto this so we can collect a bunch of ice while we're sitting here. Okay. Sure, if that's all you've got to say. Yep. <laughs> What are you up to? I'm just sort of running around. What constructive thing could you be up to? I don't know. I can't remember what what was going on. Um, we got this busted up UFO over here. We've got uh, uh, this thing that won't be mentioned. We've got this what thing that won't sort be mentioned? of hangar deck. Over here with my little mining ship on it. Uh, we've got the cockroach which has landed on a pile of scrap metal. Yeah. For a weird place to land. I didn't ask what we have, I was asking what you were going to do. I'm going to load all this scrap metal up onto the cockroach. Sure. I suppose that's vaguely constructive. Or useful. Um, you seem to have busted up the cockroach a bit. What? I repaired most of the stuff. Well, this thruster is on fire. Oh, I must have missed it. Oh, and I missed the one that's missing on the other side. When I was doing off the... Grrr. I did it all off the blueprint, so there's things that I'm missing. Dang it. Forgot that I hadn't updated the blueprint. Don't remind me about that crash. That crash was really embarrassing. You should be more careful. Agreed. I should. Mm. An open tide. We don't really have anything to go and capture it with. Though I really did want to do one more thing to try and capture stuff with. I wanted to build the shield up again, but then also build little things that we could drop off that had a bunch of parachutes on them so we could latch them onto any rack and then bring the wreck down that way. Bring the capture down that way. Uh-huh. Thought it would potentially be quite effective. Plus, any anything we do to disable it, the parachutes should protect it as it goes to the ground. So maybe once I've set up this drill rig, I will set up stuff to do that, because I want to. Um... Need some, like, glass? Oh yeah, you'd been getting... So you'd been mining a few little bits and pieces of... Yeah, I got some, like, magnesiums. Yeah, and we still didn't find any, but you didn't manage to find any silicon, did you? No, I was looking for silicon, but I didn't find any. Hmm. Okay. On. 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 Share inertia tensor. On. Share inertia tensor. On. 
And velocity, let's go. Drills damaging the rotor. This makes no sense. Whoa! What was that? That was the rotor somehow getting damaged by drills on its same grid. I heard an explosion. Yeah, a rotor exploded. In a way that makes zero sense. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. I don't. It was sabotage. I don't know Romulan how that tell she I wonder are. if it's was shaking too much. That's weird. That's very weird. We're gonna do this differently. Yeah, we haven't even made contact with the Romulans. Why would they sabotage our mining operations? What are you talking about? I told you sabotage. What sabotage? You, you tell me, you're the one whose drill bit just exploded. What even are these blocks? Are these attached to anything? No, these serve no purpose now. Okay, that one serves a purpose now. A giant ice boulder got ejected out of its hole. What? I had a giant ice boulder inside a connector and I accidentally ground down the connector and then the ice boulder got ejected out of the hole that it was in. Ah. Well, you probably shouldn't do that. Okay. That seems to be working. Well, we might end up with enough ice from this. <laughs> We've got quite a bit. I really do want to extend the piston, uh, set it up so I can put a second piston in there and get down and get some rock as well. What do you think? Sure. Have you seen the drilling rig? No. Have you seen the giant hole that I well, put in the ground? Well, not since it blew up anyway. This one hasn't blown up. This one's doing just fine. All right, I'll leave that for a while and I will see if I can repair our boarding craft. Well, actually, I should probably fix the cockroach first. You know, when you said you were going to make a, a boarding craft, I figured you were going to make a craft that had like a bunch of grinders on it so it could grind its way into an enemy ship. And how would that allow us to board? Well, because the grinders would have like a tunnel in the middle that we would walk through to get to the, the interior. Huh. Well, we were clearly thinking different things. I don't think we've got enough stuff for shields. Even the small grid ones anymore. Yeah, that sounds about right. So unless we manage to take down one of those big ships and grab some of its ion thrusters and more than just the couple that were on that other ship we found. I think we're kind of stuck. Which you're probably happy about. Inventory huh? full. Big stuck. I want to get out of here. No, not having any more uh, options for me to get excited and make us go pirate. Oh. Well, you do keep getting me horribly, horribly killed. How am I the one getting you killed? Uh... You know exactly how. Pretty sure you're the one getting you killed. You almost had me faceplant an aircraft carrier. When? That was not my doing. When did I make you faceplant an aircraft carrier? When you were like, oh, I can't be bothered flying this anymore. Why don't oh. you take over? Yeah, but you didn't die. Yeah, but it was on a 45 degree angle headed for the ground. Yeah, you said I wasn't good enough to pilot it, so I went, fine. I won't pilot it then. You brought that one upon yourself. Yeah, and look at the condition that it's in now. Yeah, it's a mess. I was well justified in what I said. Yeah, but you were the one piloting it when it got in this state. No, I wasn't. It was intact when I landed it. Oh, is that you flying in? Huh? Is that you flying in? I'm trying to dock on a connector. If something something else just is... came down with a parachute. Oh, uh, yeah, I got an unknown signal. Ah. Well, that would make sense. 
No unknown signal. Hey, don't steal my unknown signal. Stop me. <laughs> ah! Ow! Mission complete. That's not cool, Kabak. Um, you literally told me to do it. Wrong. I was just following orders. Yeah! Keep away. There will be no war crimes tribunals here. Any chance you're free for a moment to help me with something? Oh. The bullets disappeared. Uh, you're not gonna murderize me, are you? No, no. I genuinely uh, whoa, need your help. Oh, jeez. Don't crash a spaceship into me. I'm gonna land this on that stork. Uh, stork? I don't see any birds. Do you see the stork of a connector at the front of the agglomination? Oh. Uh, what are you doing that for? So that I can empty all the goodies out of this into the agglomination. Oh. Because of the two, the cockroach is the combat ship, so therefore it probably shouldn't be carrying all of the valuable goods. Well, it's probably true. Since it should be the one that stays and fights while you bail. Speaking of which, we need a jump drive on your thing. Oh no, you've got one, don't you? Yeah, the gremlin's got, got at least one. Uh, a little bit left. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Plus well, it means I can take advantage of the ice from there and use it to fill up the cockroach. This thing is looking worse and worse all the time. Alright. Prepare to launch. What? It's time to go. No, it's not. Well, it should be. Um. So, we're going to make this thing into a space station, right? We need more hydrogen on this thing. It doesn't yeah. have enough. Of course not. It's got the same number of tanks as the cockroach. Uh, that's patently false. Oh no, it's got two extras, because the hydrogen one's on the thing. But it's only got two more. It's got ten and the cockroach has eight. Well, what happened to the original ones on the... in the trailer? The trailer never got any. Didn't it? No. But, wait, how many... What about the gremlin? The gremlin had hydrogen tanks. Yeah, it has two, and then you've got the eight in that thing, and that's so it. eight in there? Yeah. We need more fuel on board this thing. I don't think that's going to be enough. I mean, it'll get us to space, but you're not going to be able to maneuver much up there. Yeah, but we're turning it into a space station. It yeah, but we have to much. get a lot of places before we can do that. Well, I mean, there's lots of room in here that we could put some more tanks. Uh, tanks are three by three by three. Yeah. I don't see any space that large. That's because you filled it with all this nonsense. You mean the stuff that we need to refine and build stuff with? So you've that left nonsense. you've left this massive space here, and you put all of this stuff over here in the big open space. Yeah. All right. There's at least space here. You could build one here. No, this is two by three. Oh. Uh. Not if we knock out this wall. Here we go. Build a tank. Uh, we're gonna need to get rid of this airtight hangar door. What? No, why? Because it's not, mate, it means that this piece, this bit inside can't be airtight. Ironically. What? Oops. What are you doing, you maniac? <laughs> I know I'm doing the right thing when you say that. That was false. You're gonna get banned. Criminalized. No! You, I, I worked hard on all these armor blocks. Yeah, so work hard on the next lot. Okay, I think I pretty much pressurized your cockpit and the downstairs in the gremlin. Okie dokie. All the way to the part that connects to the ladder that goes down to the main part of the ship for the lower decks. Sure. Inventory full. Whoa. Uh, 
You right over there? Yep. I'm hearing a lot of noises. Yeah, they're good noises though. Mm. <laughs> Are they though? No, not really. I was just dropping steel plate all over the place. Uh, have you thought about any more hydrogen thruster positions? Because you're going to need some more of those. What? I, that's not, this isn't the first time I've mentioned this to you. So only so many things my brain can hold at once. Is it like a bucket? Why are you expecting the same person who's collecting rocks to be able to know how many thrusters we need? Because you're going to be the pilot? Oh, well, pilots usually aren't the people that design the rocket ship. This is true. Because the people that design the rocket ship no, that it'll blow up. Fuel critical. Yeah! What? I just fell down a hole. <laughs> what? Where? Just somewhere, and now I'm stuck. You are? I've got no hydrogen. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Uh, can you can reach this cargo container if you jump. So tempting to push you in the hole right now. What? Can't put things in it. Because it's full. These connectors, these conveyor ports you put on the bottom, was that so you could put some thrusters on there? Huh? Did you not put these down here? Or I was going to put more guns there. Well, you're going to need some thrusters on some of these. I guess when we turn it into a station, we can convert all of the thrusters to guns. Well, most of them. Some of them will be too close to one another. But we'll... we'll okay, maybe I'll do the other... The tanks well, on the other side. We can't... We can't build guns on those anyway because it's too low to the ground. Yeah, we can't at the moment, but we can when we get up a bit higher, which would be easy to do because you can use your Atmos for that. So what I thought I'd do is I'll just pop hydrogen thrusters on the inside ones and you can put the guns on the outside. There we go. What? I've got my contingency plan for if the universe uh, disintegrates while we're flying. A security camera? Yeah. If the universe is going to unravel before us, I want to capture it on videotape. Uh-huh. Just think of how many clicks we could get on YouTube. Sure. And it's the ultimate clickbait. Epic fail. Universe unravels. You could make that with a half-height block, like the ones that are next to it. Eh, I guess I could. Eh, it's fine. Alright, I think we're ready to go. How do you figure that? Um, because I feel like we should go. Why? Because I'm bored. <laughs> You're always bored. Also, are your tanks even full yet? Oh, maybe. Hey, what's this? I found a cube. Gravel cube. Into the bin. Go. Get out of here, gravels. What are you doing? I'm shooting this gravel. You can grind it down, you know. Oh, it disappeared. I was trying to knock it down into the hole. Yeah, we should probably ditch all the gravel that's on board. What are you up to over here? Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. Perfection. <sighs> and for my next trick. You will totally kill service performance. I will saw splitsy in half. Hey, don't no, do you that. won't. That's not part of the act. Those were warning shots. The next ones won't be. Oh, man, why? What? I didn't shoot you. Why don't you support me in my quest to become a magician? It's not very supportive. I support you in becoming a pilot, isn't that good enough? What? You try to kill me whenever I pilot something. I do not. 
You try and kill yourself. Ow. <laughs> what did you do? I was flying back to get some more hydrogen. I ran out. Ah. I landed quite fast. You might want to stay clear of the wreck for the next minute. What? Nothing. What have you done? Nothing. Much. I was using that wreck. Using it for what? Hmm. Hmm? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that does not seem safe. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much better than I thought it was going to be. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> hey, if you're allowed to split it in half, I'm allowed to blow it in half. You almost blew up our ships. What if it had flung this way <laughs> instead of that way? <laughs> That's why I had that one go off first. Oh, man. Oh, look at that mess. That's awesome. Yeah, but APA is definitely coming after us now. <laughs> look at the holes this made. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy with how that turned out. <laughs> uh, and... Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a dud. It's not a dud. There we go. Well, that one got kind of a bit close to home. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was fun. Uh, oh jeez, that really went close to home, didn't it? Yes, yes it did. <laughs> hmm. I'll go with the preparations on your bridge, Kapak. Ow! <laughs> what did you just do? I just tried to climb up your ladder. What? What's wrong with my ladder? Well, I got to the top and I just sort of floated in midair and then I fell down. Oh, did you get hurt? Yes. How badly? I don't know. Yeah. This is an occupational health and safety hazard. Well, I'll try and come up with a better way to do things, but I doubt you'll like my other option. Yeah. Why are you disconnected? I'm not disconnected. You're, dis you you're not disconnected. disconnected. Uh, normally when I'm disconnected, it's be the only way to fix it is for you to reconnect. I think you can deal, can't you? I guess I'll go back down to my cryopod. Am I still disconnected? I don't... Where are you? Ah. Where? <laughs> no. Okay, good. I thought that'd fix it. Alright, time to go to space. No, 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 no. There are a bunch of flight checks you need to do. And... Where's Steve? What? Where's Steve? I don't We're know. We're not leaving him behind this time. Where did you put him? I left him on the old bridge of the rover. What? You mean the statue? No, the statue is not Steve. Wait, I thought he was driving around on a on a buggy or something. No, I don't remember him doing that. Hey, what is that? What is that blue thing? What blue thing? Where? There's a blue thing between the spotlights above the old cockpit of the rover. Oh, I have no idea. Oh wait, that's not the quickest way out. Uh, it looks like a piece of a small drone. I wonder if something <laughs> came and attacked us while we were asleep. Yeah, probably. Uh, hmm. Um, so, Steve, where are you going to put him? Capac? What, me? Yeah. I'm not putting anybody anywhere. Aren't you taking Steve with you? Like, we're not leaving him. We got... Well, I don't know. Put him on... Put him somewhere. <laughs> I thought you'd be more interested in where he's going. He's... he's He can take care of himself. He's a big boy. Uh, fine. Oh, uh, it's going to be a real pain in the neck setting up my thrusters if you're still connected. All right, I'll disconnect. So I made Steve a shelf. Uh, well, he can keep all his books on it, I guess. Well, it's him. Who's on it? Oh. Steve's on the shelf, and the shelf is near the fountain, so Steve can constantly feel like he needs to pee. What? Have you got pressurization inside your cap cockpit? 
No, I think so. My helmet's open. Yeah, but it's... <laughs> you're in a... You're on a planet with an atmosphere that's breathable. Uh, what does yellow mean? I think it means it'll be okay. Are there any leaks Isn't that I can green for see? okay? Oh, I don't know that this medical room... Yeah, the medical room wasn't making things tight. One sec. I have a solution oh. for your problem. There we go. It's Did green it? now. Yeah. I'm about to make it properly fixed, though. What the? I had to remove your stairs, because your stairs were the problem. But that deck is pressurized as well. Yeah, but it wasn't, because the doors were shut. The doors were shut, so I mean, it wasn't open. pressurized. That don't make no sense. They were open. Now is it working? Yes. Is it still working? Yes. Okay, good. That's what I was trying to set up. Okay, I am clearing the launch zone. Alright. I am unlocked. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, uh, okay. Problem. Prob Are your dampeners on? Uh, no. <laughs> That's probably what's happening. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you Let's also might want to turn again. your hydrogen off. What? Why? Because you don't want to use it to burn when you can use Atmo. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do my best to keep close to you as we go up to space. Uh, okay. Here I go. Alright. Whoosh! Whoa, jeez, not too close. Not that close. Oh, hold on. Something's on fire. Something's on fire? Uh, uh one of my... Uh, one of my atmospheric thrusters must have hit the ground. Uh, oh, we may have to repair that when we get up there. Mm. Looks like you've got enough atmospheric lift anyway. Oh, don't like that noise. Hey, those pipes aren't connected. Why aren't those pipes connected? No, it's because I'm using too much power. Are you boosting as hard as you can? Yep. Are you still accelerating? Uh... Yeah. Okay. I'm almost... capped out. Remember to keep just under your speed limit. Uh, I am slowing down. Okay, you'll need to switch to hydro. Alright. I am getting my ascent. Oh yeah, that's a lot of smoke. I'm at 11,000 meters. I'm almost at half gravity. I oh, know we're headed straight for the sun! No, we're not. At least I'm not. I'm headed almost straight for the sun. I'm kind of listed slightly to one side so I can try and get closer to you. Well, this is more like it. We've both got something we're smoking from. I think I got two. That thruster and oh, yeah, it looks something like I got as something well. internal. I don't know what mine is though. It's somewhere that I can't access. Because when I checked my projector, my repair projector, everything's intact. So I don't I don't know what's broken. You appear to be going at the speed limit rather than going slightly slower than it to conserve fuel. Uh, I got 88. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're burning fuel that you don't need to burn. Well, not far to go now. 0 0.07 planetary gravity. How's your fuel situation looking? 88. And how much ice do you still have on board? No idea. Probably at least two. How do I even see? Uh, go to your inventory and type in ice to search for ice. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 127, 30, 30, 931. <laughs> okay, so you still got over a million. Good. Because you're going to be my refuel depot for the time being. Okay. We've escaped the gravity well. Dampeners off. 
hydrogen thrusters off. We are coasting. Uh, can you slow your coast a little bit so I can come into dock? Um, no. <laughs> you don't have any reverse thrust, do you? This is true. You're going to need to turn so you can slow down. Okay. Um, okay, where's Mars? Uh, I see a green planet. Mars is off to your left and down. What? The green planet. No, that's left forward and down. The blue planet. Yeah, but there's areas of red on it that you can see. Like I don't know, it looks more blue to me. Mm. It looks teal and orange like all those movies. Alright, keep an eye on your radar while we're doing this. We may meet some unfriendly peoples up here. Uh -oh. Like an exiled engineer that's back! Oh, we are coming. We're heading straight towards that. What? Oh. Oh dear. No, we're, we're gonna pass it. Hopefully, fast, far enough, because that's the thing with the shield. Oh, good. Have you slowed down at all yet? No, well, not yet. I did want to start slowing down here while we're approaching this thing. Um. Do you have your jump drive on your hotbar somewhere so you can jump quickly if you need to? I do. Oh, that is uncomfortably close to the dangerous encounter. <laughs> I think you got to get much closer than that, though, for it to be a problem. I think he'll let us pass. How close are you to those asteroids? Uh, Pretty far? Yeah. They're not a collision danger. Mostly. Alrighty, can you just... You don't have to slow down much, like 90 meters a second will be fine, I'll still be able to dock. Right. It's just, at full speed I can't dock. Right, I'm down to 95. Okay, I can't use relative dampeners because they'll burn too much hydrogen. So i got to do this manually. Oh good. More to the right. It is. What? Uh, I think we're seeing different things. Uh, it looks like you almost connected and then you flew away. I was looking like I was almost connected and it wasn't turning on. You know, if you just hold position there... What? I might be able to just, like, rotate the ship with my gyros to get the connector into place. Uh, I'm gonna build a docking camera. What? I don't know if now is the best time. It's totally the best time. Jeez, you're smoking a lot. Oh, you're smoking too? Yeah, but you're smoking a lot more than me. Oh, unknown signal. You are not jumping your giant ship away to get an unknown signal. No, it's only two kilometers away. If I was going to get it, I'd go fly out to it. In my seat. Uh, uh-oh. What? There is an asteroid coming up. There is? Yep. Do you think we're going to hit it? Possibly. It is quite close to our path. From what I can ascertain. But can you keep an eye on it? I can try. It's very hard to judge direction when we're power sliding like this. I know. I know. Uh, I've got a bad feeling about this. You shouldn't. Uh, can you hop out of your seat? Okay, that doesn't sound like a good idea either. And hop in one of the passenger seats. Alright. Oh, that rock's getting real close. Yep, hop out. Your passenger seat? Yes. Oh man, ten seconds is a long time. Oh, we are just missing that rock. Ooh. Whoa. There we go. Where are we? We are... Oh, man. We jumped a, a long way. Yeah. We are what? a thousand kilometers from... <laughs> oh, uh, how am I going to get that signal now? <laughs> um, uh, rock alert. What? We're headed towards another rock. I appear to be dusting off the roof of your vessel. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. 
Okay, I'm going to arrest our sideways velocity because <laughs> it's awkward. <sighs> hey, there's a galaxy over there. Maybe we should go to that. So we've made our first jump towards Mars. So there will probably be another, what, four or five jumps, I think? Oh, what? What? I don't even have, like, a book to read or something. I need, like, a Game Boy. I wonder if Steve's got a Game Boy. Hmm. Oh. Hold on. What? Uh. What? Okay, it wasn't just that an atmospheric thruster was damaged. What? It was more that uh, an atmospheric thruster was destroyed and the one next to it was damaged. What? I just now realized that there's a whole atmospheric thruster missing. Where? Uh, over near where it says Steve on the side. One of the- oh, one of the ones I built. I just- I was just looking at the brace for it and I was like, why is there a weird sticky Audi bit sticking out? <laughs> hey, those blocks aren't even built. Yeah, huh. what kind of a crummy hatch job did you do? <laughs> well, I think you started welding stuff in front of it. Like, you demanded that I put the tanks in there, so I put tanks in the way and... Oh, man. How long until this thing is recharged? Uh, like 20 minutes? Maybe we should use my drive to make it faster. We probably could, but I think we might end it there. Or at least after I get a sexy us in the sun shot. But that feels weird. That's yeah, fine. It's better than being on the planet. Blech. Planets are for chumps. Oh, man. What? Stupid super heavy gravity. <laughs> oh, because my grav gen's on. Yeah, it's two, two Gs. Hey, Kappa, can you walk back down that thing? We've left Earth and it's even more gravity up here. But in space, that don't make sense. Because <laughs> I can see you down there. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised we haven't met any mean people. Maybe they're all around Earth. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Although... Although what? It was the Martians that started that dreadful War of the Worlds. Right. With their tripods and that eat, eating all the blood. Space vampires. Ow! Stupid double gravity. <laughs> I wonder if I could hit an asteroid from here. You... Stop that! I mean, the bullets should just keep going until they hit the asteroid. Yeah, I guess they should. Uh, but it'd be... What's our velocity? 20 meters a second, yeah. The bullets will probably carry too far sideways. I'll fly off into space. Come back. I need to lead my shot by 20 kilometers. Is your helmet closed for you? Huh? Is your helmet closed? No. <laughs> Why aren't you dying? Uh, I don't know. Also, my <laughs> foot's doing a real weird twitchy thing. How? How aren't you? Why? What? I mean, it says high O2 to me as well. Yeah, it says it's freezing, but that there's oxygen. What? How is there oxygen up here? Uh... Um, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, there's no oxygen over here. Okay, so our, our ship is somehow moving in atmosphere with it. Interesting. Well, I guess it could be pulled along by the gravity generator. You'd think it would <laughs> dissipate, though. Yeah, I would have thought uh, it would have Unless we had some kind of magnetic field that was keeping the atmosphere in place. Yeah, something like that. Oh well, we can investigate that, because next time... We are going to continue our way towards Mars. Ah, where? What? I fell off. Oh. You should be careful. <laughs> yes. So there's that, and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. See you later, everybody.